Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because we're going to be talking about moving months in advance before you actually need to. Now before you click away and say I'm not actually moving, I don't need this, this advice, you don't need to be moving to take these tips. It's very helpful to start to declutter your life, become more organized, live a more calm and stress-free life whether you're moving or not but moving is often a big impetus for people to start going through their position and really taking stock of what they have because obviously you don't want to move things that you don't need you don't want to pay to move extra things that you're just going to end up donating on the other side anyway so if you can avoid that and make moving less stressful then definitely you need to do that If you're new here, hello, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Julie. I'm an occupational therapist. I'm a mom of two little kids. I'm about to have a third one like very soon. And we're gonna move when this little baby is like probably a month old and we're not moving down the street we're moving across the country it's easy for me to get very stressed about this but i am taking this as a challenge to see if i can move with as little stress as possible and i want to share the ways that i'm preparing for the move with you in case this might be helpful for you in your life don't forget to go ahead and subscribe i post videos all about intentional living and living clutter free more organized so that you can actually do the things you want to with the people that you want to do things with so make sure that your notifications are turned on give this video a big thumbs up and let's jump in to the tips firstly I want to just say that moving can be an amazing opportunity often we're moving because you know things have changed for the better in our lives we have a better job opportunity or we want to upgrade our homes sometimes moving can be kind of saddled with sadness perhaps we're going through a separation or there's been a death in the family either way it's an opportunity to start afresh to evaluate what your environment feels like to you and to start a over, which a lot of people would love. If you are in a position to be moving, I feel you, I'm there right with you, and I want you to try and view it as an exciting opportunity versus a huge stressful life change that's making you panicked and feel overwhelmed. So let's talk about time frame. You know, usually if you're doing a big move, I would say that you probably know about it at least a few months in advance, if not longer. But what do we usually do as human beings? We wait till the absolute last minute to start packing, to start going through things, Things, and that's why it becomes super stressful if you start planning this move in your head at least you know three months before you actually need to and just like slowly start chipping away at the things that you need to do that inevitably come with moving it's gonna make it so much more of a peaceful and uneventful experience because things always crop up right so even if you think oh I can do that closer to the time or this is not necessary to do now there's always gonna be other things that will probably happen unexpectedly to fill your time so whatever you can do ahead of time, at least in my opinion, let me know if you feel the same or feel differently, I think will only help you. I like to kind of think out of the box when it comes to moving. For example, look around your walls and look at the pictures on your walls is there like kind of cheap art that you've had on there for 10 years that you don't think is worth taking to a new home is that something that you could give to somebody else or donate to a charity shop or something you know you really have to think about everything because when you move literally everything is going to come with you or out of your home so you need to start thinking out the box start to remove hooks and racks railings things that you might not be using that are temporary you know I use a a lot of like command hooks and I have got a million of them around my home and the thing is I'm gonna leave them behind if I don't take note of where they are and slowly start to literally chip away and take them down because I don't necessarily think that the new owners would want them consider the weather when you move we are moving in summer so we don't need winter jackets and ski clothes and snow boots and all this kind of stuff so that can all be packed away already or, or at least gone through so that I don't have to worry about it closer to the time and I don't need to have that stuff out cluttering up my brain and my space consider your kids artwork and school stuff and things that are not really worth moving perhaps pictures that you've taped onto the walls that's gonna have to go so make sure you start going through that now maybe choosing a few things I did a video all about memory books that I can link up above and you could put some of that art in there so that you're not like discarding it completely but you are mostly leaving it behind in the same vein consider broken toys or toys and books that 
that have been worn out with pages that are torn or puzzles that are missing pieces and ask yourself is it really worth moving this kind of stuff we've already kind of used up its lifespan already consider donating it if it's in good enough condition or throwing it out same with appliances kitchen items things that have kind of become disfigured or broken there's no point keeping that stuff around anymore look at things that you would probably have donated already so maybe you have 10,000 throw cushions that you don't need that you probably would donate anyway or you have books that you're never going to read things like this don't keep them around and just move them from house to house to house because then you just squander this opportunity to start in a more clutter-free organized environment and it's much easier to move less things Consider furniture that you might want to sell before you move. There are websites, one is called Kayo, another one is Apartment Decor, Decor, I can leave them down below, where they will actually come and collect your item and sell it for you. Or you can go the traditional Craigslist method or sell it to a friend, but consider this stuff and consider doing it months in advance so that you don't have to start selling things off right before you move. Start to use up food in your pantry, half open containers of condiments. Start using beauty products that are in your bathroom cabinet that you don't want to have to take just a tiny bit with you. Make a concerted effort to use things that perhaps you've sort of forgotten about. Otherwise, give them away to someone else because it's no point transporting, you know, half a face mask, this much ketchup. It's just not worth it. Stop buying new things. A key component of clutter is obviously not bringing things back into your home. And with moving, you need to be really mindful of this, especially if you're someone who has subscriptions. Perhaps you use like subscribe and save on Amazon or you're getting a regular subscription box for something make sure that you're canceling it or pausing it for the time that you're going to be away transferring it to a new address the less you need to move the better the more that you can send directly to your new home the easier it's going to make life for you go through your books and you might not keep once you've read them so perhaps this is the time to start reading books before you leave so that you can read a book and then pass it on to a friend and not have to schlep it across the country any items that you have been collecting and have been waiting to donate donate them now whether it means going back a couple of times just start to get that stuff out of your life it also gives you a more realistic idea of what you really have we have been doing moving quotes and one of the things that they do is you know they go around your entire home they make you open cabinets it's much easier for you to have a really realistic idea of what you need to move and what kind of quote you need when you don't have all your donated items kind of piling up consider if you have anything that you want to give to a friend maybe Maybe you have a specific book that you've kind of been keeping aside for someone or baby clothes or some kind of kitchen appliance or item make sure that you do that now because you're not going to want to do all that stuff in the hustle and bustle leading up to a move you want to get that stuff out of the way so make a considered effort go meet someone in the park and give them what you have when you're going through your things if you have old towels or clothes or cloths or something that could be helpful with moving you might want to set those aside and keep those for things that would break during the move this way you cut down on waste when it comes to packaging and boxes and it's all useful to have extra towels and mats and things around your home if you need to mop a wet floor and that kind of stuff um, and it's just an easy way to move clothes and stuff all at once without getting additional materials involved start by cleaning your home now so for example using a magic eraser to get things off the walls maybe you're touching up the paint a little bit just making things a little bit nicer maybe you're cleaning skirting boards and baseboards and things that you don't usually clean to make it nicer for when you have to sell your apartment or you know you having new people come in it's just easier to start doing that stuff now slowly because the chances are you're not going to have to do it all again and this way you really cut down on doing everything at once our brains truly procrastinate and distort time in a way to protect us in a way to keep us safe so if you're having a hard time moving before you actually need to move or perhaps you want to pretend to move in order to get your life organized set a timer for 20 minutes and just go around your home and start going through things that you can donate cleaning off walls scuffs and just kind of going through clothes and deciding whether it's worth keeping these things or not 
20 minutes a day, three months in advance, times that by 90 days, and you can get a lot done. So if you wanna see more moving, kind of inspired content and how we're gonna do it all, I'm determined not to lose my mind over this thing. If you wanna see how we're gonna do it with three young kids, including a newborn baby, moving across country, where we're going, all that kind of stuff, make sure you are subscribed, click that notification bell and give this video a big thumbs up because I'll be posting content related to our move and how we're doing it as kind of a more minimal family because I am really conscious of being very intentional about any of the steps that we take going forward we have a lot going on we need to find a new apartment we need to sell our apartment it's it's a lot so um, I would love to have you along for the ride and I can't wait to see you in my next video Bye.